All right, for a question like this on the GRE, what we're looking for is, uh, it's a fraction question, and a lot of people struggle with fraction questions. But one of the things that you would really help with this question is really drawing things out a little bit. So they're talking about a cup A and a cup B. And the cup A seems to be smaller than the cup B. So I'm going to draw, just do some descriptions here. So I'm going to do that, that, and I'm going to think of that, okay? Okay. So what we have here is two cups. One is smaller than the other, obviously. And what we need to be able to do here is, uh, as we focus on the cup A, the, it says that the cup A is two ninths full, and uh, cup B is uh, five eighths full. Okay. And it says if the cups were poured into each other, what fraction would represent the total, the new fraction? Well, the key trick really in this question is um, understanding that. If I take, and we need to pour A into B, by the way, so A needs to go into B. If you take two, something that's two nights full, and you pour it into something that's you know, bigger than it, actually twice as big as it, so this one is twice as big as what this is. So if this was X as much, this is two X, it's twice of it. If I pour this small one into this big one, there is no way this two nights, when it gets here, will still be two nights, because it's now in a bigger volume. Well. This two ninths, when it goes into something twice as as big, feels, and the key word is feels, feels half as much when it goes into the bigger stuff. So if this if this big one was three times as much as this small one, when this uh, small one goes in here, then it's going to feel a third as it's going to feel only a third as much in size. So it's actually going to feel smaller in the bigger container, which makes sense. So. Let's kind of set this up. So really what's happening is in this big one, it's five eighths. There's no doubt about that. But when these two ninths comes in here, it's going to fill half of its size because it's going to something twice as big. And we just add those two. That's all they're asking for. So let's just do the math. Let's set up the math there. So all we need to do is a half of the two ninths, okay, plus five eighths. And the key here is because the small one is going to something twice as big, it feels half as half its actual um, quantity, which is two nights. So here, uh, remember on the GRE, um, uh, just to simplify things, always look for an opportunity to, to reduce stuff. So watch what I do here. I actually reduce the two and the two there. So all I have is one night plus what five eight. Really, at the end of the day, this question is just a basic fraction addition question and with fractions what you always want to be able to do you cannot add fractions until you've gotten the common denominator so the common denominator here just is pretty much just multiplying the 9 and the 8 which is so to do that which is 40 72 so to get the 72 at the denominator here i have to multiply it by 8 but i have to do the same thing to the top and over here to get 72 i multiply it by 9 and do the same to the top in math whatever you do to the base to the bottom you do to the top so i have 8 over 72 there and I have uh, 45 over 72. And when you add that together, you will get 53 over 72, okay? And on the GRE, what they expect you to do is to type 53 here and type 72 here. Obviously, there's no way to reduce those, but even if you could reduce it on the GRE, they allow you to, to give every version of a fraction, even if you can reduce it, just the original fraction you get at the beginning, at the end of the calculation is fine. So the key here is understanding that when something goes, something smaller goes into something twice as much, it will feel half as much. So that size has to be halved. That quantity two nights has to be halved. And that's the how you answer this question uh, on the GRE. Thank you.